What a day. So, it's a loud scooter. Well, we just decided to go to Itaewon, kind of short notice, and we decided we wanted to go find a Korean barbecue place. But we couldn't find any, and we'd been walking around for a little while, so we mapped to one. And then it wasn't actually Korean barbecue, and now we are in the Turkish section of Turkish Seoul. Slash Middle Eastern in general. Yeah, like we just passed a big mosque, and now we're passing lots of places that are like Turkish this, Turkish that. Oh look, there's a tattoo parlor, which we're not allowed to go into. Uh, yeah, so that's this is fun. Love getting lost in Seoul every time we come. <laughs> Two persons. We made it. We made it to a Korean barbecue. But we don't actually know where we are still, we just know that it's a Korean barbecue. <laughs> yeah. We've been lost for so long now. What a way to end 2018. Getting lost as, excuse my language, getting lost as hell in Seoul, South Korea. And then accidentally finding where you're trying to go anyway. Yeah, we just kept wandering around and eventually we found where we were trying to go. So, I mean, I guess in the end it all worked out. So I am going to go get my hair cut today, which would not be a big deal because I change my hair up all the time, but I'm getting it done at a place off post. I actually haven't gotten my hair cut. I got a trim when I was still in Florida from my sister. Like I went down and visited her before I came to uh, left from the States and that was the last time I got a haircut and it was just a trim. And today I'm going to a Korean salon and I am going to get bangs. Ah! And also, Seth doesn't know I'm going today. He knows I'm getting my hair cut. I told him I wanted to do it this week, but he usually forgets. So I'm gonna just go get it done today and then surprise him and be like, hey, can you come pick me up? So I don't have to get a cab home. <laughs> yeah, so that's gonna be fun. So, new year, new hair, new me, all that jazz. But, first time with bangs, not too shabby. I like it a lot, actually. Just waiting on uh, two people's approval at this point. Seth's, because he hasn't seen it yet. And my sister's, because she's been the person that's cut my hair for the past three years. And honestly, I was uh, pretty nervous about letting anybody else cut my hair, but I think that the Korean man that cut my hair did a pretty good job. And he spoke good English, so that was definitely helpful. It is extremely difficult to get a good angle while sitting at a table whenever you don't have any kind of tripod. Currently, my phone is sitting on top of a bag of puppy food, a face scarf thing, and a binder, and a table decoration that's a candle holder. Usually it's like a box and then books and then like a glass in front. So it turns out the candle holder is a much better phone camera stand. So there's that. Anyways, I just got back from the 38 market, which is, um, there's a market that's right outside the main gate of Kim Pumphreys. It's called the 38 market, which is because it is on every day of the month that ends with a three or an eight. So this is the first one of 2019. And while well, I got some pretty decent deals, like oh, fresh strawberries and oranges and grapes, I also got a bunch of Korean candies and I thought it would be fun to try some. Grand okay, there's only actually like five different kinds here. I just got several of them, so I'm gonna real quick pick out the each individual kind. Okay, I lied. I actually did get a lot of kinds of candy. So I actually already tried this one because I was bored and decided to. 
Um, it's a pumpkin candy. Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It like has a weird flavor at first, but then it gets sweeter the more you chew on it. It's a like, chewy, soft kind of candy, almost like a like saltwater taffy texture, but not at all the same kind of flavor. Okay, this is called yogurt. I it's a milk candy. I am pretty sure that it is called yogurt because it's a kind of yogurt candy. So, I guess we'll see. Oh. Hard. I mean, it tastes good. Just gonna fast forward through this part. Okay, so that took longer to eat than I thought I would, but it basically tastes like a weird yogurt that's hardened. Like, it starts out hardened and it's like a little chewy, but it's like too hard to really just chew. This is another milk candy, but this was a hard one, so I'm just gonna like taste it and then spit it out, which sounds kind of gross, but I think it's just what's necessary. See, it's, it's a hard candy. Oh, I dropped it. I don't, I'm trying to figure out like what to compare it to in the States, but I can't because it's not really like a flavor that I've tasted in the States. I mean, it's good. It's just, it's different. Okay, this is a peanut caramel. I only got a couple of these. It looks almost like a, oh, this one's actually pretty soft, see. It tastes like, is it a Mary Jane? No, it's got a texture like a Mary Jane. And then a flavor like, I don't know what they are. They're like these little crunchy candies that are like buttery, but peanut buttery. And those taste like that, but has a texture of a Mary Jane. Those are two like really old candies. I don't really know where people get them from anymore, except I know they sell them at like the Wakoa Springs Lodge, because they're like old fashioned candies. All right, let's see. Try not to do the hard candies because it's kind of gross to just suck on a candy. And let's see. Let's do this. It is a tangerine jelly. Seth is definitely not gonna like these. He doesn't like gummy candies. I don't know why, I love them. Like. Sour gummy worms are one of my all-time favorite candies. If you just want to like send me those, I'd be okay with that. Not my favorite. It's like a less flavorful, like orange gummy, like the, the orange slices that are not really orange, they're just gummies and covered in sugar. It's kind of what this is like, except like there's even less flavor in it. We'll be getting that again. And that's like the last of the gummy ones. I guess there's the, the pep, this other pumpkin candy because I got two different kinds. Oh, this one's hard. If you like really love pumpkin flavor, this might be a good candy for you. Seth will probably like it. If you're not a huge pumpkin fan, 
probably wouldn't care for it. It's okay. It's like not my favorite, but. Mm. Okay. Too much chewing. Ooh, I think this is the coffee candy. Yes. literally just tastes like every other coffee flavor flavored hard candy has ever tasted in the existence of coffee flavored candies. Yeah. Said someone he hasn't seen my hair. Hey babe, how was work? It was good. Hey, there's a water trail. Uh, that's from them taking out the washer. What do you think? <laughs> Do you like it or not like it? The way you've got a brush, it's kind of hard to see the bangs. You're recording this for your vlog, aren't you? Of course I am. <laughs> it looks good, though.